So, you know, the market always catches up with a surprise. Because, yeah, guys, as you could see, one, two, price went up because of what? Because of the double bottom. But then it wasn't really that much of a double bottom because we touched here, but then we didn't touch here, you know. So these will take us to what? These will take us to the market psychology. So it's just up to you guys, you know. So here it was just me believing that it will happen and it did happen. So, okay, price, um, we went to the what? Now we're on the daily so me being in the daily time frame guys um i have to wait on hold on for like few minutes because one two three we've reached that level you understand guys so when we reach that level for us to come down you know so i'll put this thing here so that we can focus on the current structure i'll put this as you could see prices um forming a white price is forming um a double top here you understand guys we are forming a double top okay and then we have these you see how it is and then guys we're gonna come on the low we have these so this is the structure that i'm having right now from the what from the bigger scale guys uh this is the structure that we are having from the what from the bigger scale so we're gonna have the 90 percent rule of this mini structure which is that one you know that's the 90 percent rule so guys this buy i was in surprise because it bought because of this intersection here you know so the reason why price bought we were not surprised because we know what made price to buy you know so we had a pattern which was in our pattern that pattern is the one which made the market to do what it did because from that level so if you know your structures guys you know you always have to believe the structure is key you know so that buy that we had there I was in surprise, you know, because we were having it like um these. So you were supposed to take it from there, and this is your stop loss, and then you take profit there. And like if you were to play it, you'll understand. You see, see how price moved. We moved so nice, guys, that we we reached that level. You understand? So now we are just waiting for price to reach here. You know. So this thing I was just showing you. I don't want to make my chair to look. Uh, in a bad way you know i was just showing you so we are about to reach this level so we're gonna go to the four hour <coughs> okay as we going down to the four hour guys you know we have to look at it you know guys it's all about clean chairs you know how it's done you know always clean so now i'm gonna go to the four hour i should full only a fool will send me a request so okay guys um now we are having these you know so we are highlighting this level that's the level on like where i expect price to push you know because this is a what do you call what do we call these we call these a pattern you know we had this pattern and it has a break so now price will do this and then we reach this level we come down we form this and then we go down so what's formed here guys it's a it's a bit of the market nature you understand so i'm just showing you on how price will do you understand guys so um i'm expecting price to do something like this you know it might not be that straight but then we have to form something like this or maybe guys you can use your bar pattern to your advantage you know you can take from that height going sideways you understand guys um with the bar pattern is the bar pattern again bar pattern from here going sideways okay it's black okay we have to change the color so it can be visible all right there is it so we can put it from there you know so it's just gonna move in this um direction and this is the great way to move so okay guys i'll delete whatever i did there so we're going to the one hour now you know so from the four hour to the one hour so after here guys i want the ones which are challenging i need the pairs that will be challenging for me to analyze to get that i'm saying guys um meet the ones that you'll see in like yo this one is going to be hard then we go to the one hour so let's see what the one hour has for us guys even on the one hour guys um i believe you could see this is how the market moves guys it won't change today because we are looking at it market moves in an impulse correction impulse correction so as you could see you had your impulse and price gave you your correction
this is what price gave you again again impulse price gave you what your correction so with this correction as i said we need to wait for price to do what price to push high and then we can come down so guys um this one i'm just gonna end it on the one hour so me ending it in the one hour i just want you guys to understand that we're still gonna go up you understand so if you're looking at dxy guys um i hope you look at the what do you call you're gonna be looking at the uh selling your buying positions um the market will buy after it has reached a certain level which is this level you know so this is the level that we want to reach you get what i'm saying guys so um this is for the sunday market breakdown because i couldn't have the time to analyze the sunday market breakdown guys um i just got home today i was busy with some few things but then i had to remember you guys so with dxy we done guys um so which pair can we do i see someone is saying we should uh do vix 75 so okay i'll have to open two windows you understand guys i'll open two windows the other one will be binary the other one will be forex you know, guys. so um, now we are opening um vix 75 so we can like look at vix 75 guys you know so guys once you see those things you can never unsee them i'm an under the gold guys like i'll be putting this thing on the um, what do you call on the what is it called is it called the i'm gonna be putting this thing on the premium the, the pre yeah after here we're gonna do nasdaq i have even an open position on nasdaq as we're speaking guys um and it's going nice so far you know yeah guys i'll do as many as i can you know as long as it allows us to do we want to do them you know like it's all about the knowledge guys if you can like have the knowledge trust me you die like you just need to improve more on analyzing you know if you can like just up your skill on how to analyze trust me you're done with this thing you know so okay guys um now we're going to look at week 75 once we are doing week 75 not week 75 spot because we have two types of weeks we have the spot one and we have the normal one so here i guess we're gonna be doing the normal one you know because the spot one is the one manando okay guys um this is week 75 guys so with week 75 i'll start on the 24 hour I don't know what you guys call it but then i call it the 24 hour which is the daily so okay from the daily guys as you always know how i analyze we had to highlight the high the previous height okay the previous height we're gonna use a horizontal uh, rectangle to highlight so that it can show a bigger thing you know so that's the what that's the height that we have and then we have to come up with the lower low of this structure again the lower low is probably around this level so now we have the higher height and the lower loop and if you can check how price went down guys we had impulse and then we had a correction so this level here this level here is the best belief that i think this is the level which um you guys are supposed to take your entries your selling positions on these levels you know and again guys um if you can check the structure that we had we had something like this understand so when we had something like that it gave us a, what we what i use what i like to call break and a retest they understand so it gave me a break and a retest so after here guys we're gonna go to the four hour nasdaq is selling check my life i think i got time to be checking on your lives man you see i'm live you're telling me to check your life so okay guys uh again guys um when we're looking at the uh, vix 75 we could see nicely that okay price is giving us more opportunities as you could see this is the opportunity that we're having and again guys uh you need to have this um line here which we did break you know but just because it's not visible i'll use this thing here price did break that level you understand so when price broke that level what do we have now we're now having what we call the one two three on the lower low that's the first touch this has to be the second touch and then now we are heading to what the third touch we are now heading to the third touch so we'll take what uh use the most which is the branch the branch we're gonna wait for a drop and then this is what we're expecting you know guys so with VIX 75, it was as easy as it is. You understand? It was as easy as it is. So okay, from the four hour guys, I'll go to the last time frame that I prefer when I'm analyzing such stuffs, which is the one hour. Understand, guys? 
Yeah, the one hour. So, guys, okay, let me start here. The real reason why this thing went up, you could see you went down. You could see that you had your what? You had your head and shoulder set up. Understand, guys? Like, you guys understanding such patterns, it will make your trading easy or easier. You understand, guys? So, this was a head and shoulder set up. And then now, what we have is just a what? A pattern that I'm expecting price to drop like that. And then when we drop, we're going to be doing what? We're going to be selling. But then we do have a what? We do have a target. You understand, guys? We do have a what? A target. So this is how we have it. You get what I'm saying, guys? This is how we have everything. So, yeah, with this one, I'm done. You understand, guys? So this one, guys, was week 75 for you. And then this one is DXY for you guys, you know. So now, guys, um, I'm, I saw someone saying GBP, JPY. So we're going to move to GBP, JPY. GBP, JPY. So GBP, JPY, guys. Um, okay, let's see. GBP, JPY. I have the weekly here. So I have to start from the weekly. So guys, now we are on uh, GBP, GPY, yeah? so I just have to analyze it. So guys, as I said, this one, it was supposed to be on the market breakdown. Okay, you guys are supposed to be on my market breakdown. Let's see, guys, okay. So weekly, on the weekly, you could see how my chart is on the weekly. So as, as, as you know, guys, um, I can never miss the low and the high, you understand? My higher high and my lower low. So I have my what? Lower low. I have my lower low. Okay. We can sell. Okay, I have my lower low and my higher high. I think I, I analyzed it last week, so that's why I did that. Okay, I have my lower low. And I have my higher height of the structure. And the highest height of all time. So now it's something like that. So you're going to just zoom in a little bit. And then after the zoom... I just get three touches one two three and then I come to the low one two three and then now we move to the daily I'm cruising so me being on the daily me being on the daily you could see my one two three and again I have to get my touch okay or accurate so now I'm having something like that and now guys I have a pattern here which is sort of this structure you see how it is right now so i'm gonna move to the white to the four hour guys i'm not gonna take anyone's request so okay guys um we have the structure and we have everything that we wanted so now we're just fixing there and there okay and again we have these so yeah guys um there isn't much to be done on this time frame but best believe if price could come here okay which it's already we have formed what we call the inverse head and shoulder setup. And then I'm going to go to the one hour. So being on the one hour, um, you could see that price, uh, my price went up with an impulse. And then it gave me a steep uh, correction. So after the steep correction, guys, uh, I believe uh, you know what price has to do, guys. So now I'm waiting for price. So at least do these and we break we have a pattern and then we go to our what we go to our take profit level guys so this is how i'm having it this side you know this is how i'm having gj um yeah this thing it's perfect when i'm looking at it did you get what i'm saying guys it looks perfect on my side this is gbp jpy so now price will have to do what will impulse to the upside then we have a correction and then we go there so for us how can we enter this one so for us to enter we're gonna come to where we say long okay this is where i will enter my position and the stop loss has to be tight and the target we need to know the target and this has to be the target and then guys with gbp jpy i'm done you need to understand the structure you know that's all you need to understand if you can like understand the structure promise me you're done so okay what's next guys what's next guys um with gbp gpy we're done i'll explain more on how i enter those positions when i come again and analyze the mid midweek when i come and analyze the midweek understand guys well, your analysis 
as well. Okay, I don't care, man. I've been doing this for the longest time. Don't you see the inverse head and shoulder here? I go do something, my boy. I don't even know what you're doing here. Okay, see someone guys uh, mentioning. Let's see what you're mentioning, guys. Um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Or oh, let's go with gold. Let's go for gold. So now we are analyzing gold, guys. Gold highest height, lowest low. And then we go to the what? We go to the um daily. Do you see how it is on the daily? And then we need to highlight this level size. We have the one, two, three. Again, we start from the height. We go down. We have the one, two, three. So the real reason why price sold here, yeah, guys. I'm looking at gold. You could see first touch, second touch. This was the third touch. And if you can check on the third touch, there's this, this inter wide intersection. I just love to do this thing, you know. So there was a break there. So us having a break, we're gonna have the lower low. That's the target where we think price will reach. That's the, you understand, guys? So that's my target. We're gonna go to the four hour. So in the four hour. You could see price is still doing, you know, it's still dropping. So I could say the one thing that I'm waiting for here, you know, because price just don't sell like that. You have to at least get a what a correction to the downside. So you know, then we need to reach our what 90% rule. So this position was supposed to be entered um somewhere in this level, and then the take profit has to be the 90% rule of the structure. You get what I'm saying, guys? So this is how we see it, you know. This is how we killing these charts. You get what I'm saying, guys? Um, we've been killing the charts like these. So, guys, uh, now I'm out of pace. See, I'm out of pace to analyze because the market is just getting easier every day. Okay, UJ. Let's see UJ. UJ. This is uh, UJ now, guys. Uh, but UJ it doesn't have a structure so far. I don't see the proper structure on UJ. So UJ guys is USD JPY. So don't get it wrong when I say UJ. You're thinking of schools. So new J, I'll have my lowest low, and then have my highest height of this structure. And then this height of this one. And then um, price went up with an impulse. So the real reason why we started buying is because of this correction. And then within that correction, price broke the first one. And then now I have to move to the daily. Mm -hmm. So on the daily, you could see price is still showing no sign of coming down. So I could say we have to go test this level, this level here. Again, um, you could see that we have one, two, it touched two times, and then on the height we can have something like this. So we can go to the right to the four hour now, guys. On the four hour, you could see it's not surprising again why we ended up having such, you know, because uh, these touches, guys, you know, I'm a trend line nigga impulse there's a correction here and then impulse so price has to reach this level so we're just gonna go to the what to the one hour and me being on the one hour you know man you see how it moves these things guys they move the same way you understand again touches one two and then within that touches we had these okay correction impulse and then we're gonna have what another correction so this correction just has to give us the same thing. So prices to push, and the daily target of this thing, guys. Um, we have to take your impulse there, and then after taking your positions there, we're gonna push you to that level. So that's your take profit level. You can go to the uh, two hours, three hour, still the same thing. You know, we just need to understand how these things are done. 
So if you can understand how they done, ah, bro, you done, you understand, you're done with this thing. But then if you're still failing to understand what made Christ to do that, I don't know. You see, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So what can we analyze? I don't know what to analyze. Okay, let's see. We don't know what to analyze. It's me, man, under the good days, your boy here. The thing is, I can't even see comments. I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up. Okay, guys. So, all right, guys. Um, let's see. So, all right, guys. I'll post more, guys. Um, I have uh, something to do. So, okay, it's me, your boy, man, under the goat, guys. YouTube, I'm signing out. YouTube, I'm signing out. All right, so, guys, let's see who gets that 1K. Let's see who gets that 1K. Recording stopped. Who gets that 1K? Instagram. Instagram. Who, who's getting that 1K? Let's see. Who's getting the 1K? Instagram people. Let's see who gets that 1K. I'm even pin this nigga. Who's getting the 1K, guys? I can't see Chrome. And it's now, to, it's now time to give away the 1K. I don't even know who to give. Let me go. Let me exit the live and come back again. Let's go.